Welcome to this CyberSource Developer Center training. In this module, you will learn how to try out the REST APIs without setting up a development environment or writing any code, how to configure the Developer Center to use your own Sandbox account, how to try the REST APIs from your development language using the comprehensive sample code libraries. First, let's look at the APIs available on our Development Center. In the left-hand navigation, you can see all the APIs available. Click Send to immediately try out any of the APIs using default Sandbox credentials. In the Response section, you can see the live response with the authorization code. In addition to the default sample request body, you can edit the request body to evaluate and learn how different scenarios are handled. You can see the status returned is 400 and the error return is displayed in the response window. You can discover and learn about fields by scrolling through the tree view in the left hand pane. By hovering over a field, you can see its description along with information such as accepted values, format, and more. Selecting a field in the tree view automatically adds it to your API request. An additional feature of the API reference that we really think will help you and many developers is the list of common scenarios with pre-canned sample request. Now let's look at how you can try multiple APIs together to learn about some typical but more complex payment scenarios. Here we're going to use the default sample to create a payment instrument or token for a customer's credit card. An application can store this token in place of sensitive credit card data. The token created can then be copied and pasted right into a payment request. This would be the scenario where you store sensitive payment information with CyberSource and then use that for subsequent purchases. Let's find a sample from our Payment Processing API. Let's choose Payment with Payment Instrument Token. And let's paste in the token we just created. And we've just created a payment from a tokenized card. As you can see, it's very easy to get up and running with the API reference. It uses default test credentials, so there's no need to even sign up for a Sandbox account. When you're ready to test with your own Sandbox account, make sure it's configured correctly. Let's look at how easy it is to supply your own Sandbox API credentials and still take advantage of all the API reference features. First, we'll log into our Test Business Center. Go to Payment Configuration, Key Management. Select API Keys and either use an existing key or generate a new one. For this demo, we'll use our existing key. We'll switch back to the API Reference and click on Process a Payment. This time, we'll click on the Headers tab. Now simply enter your Sandbox credentials and click Update Credentials. Going back to the Body tab, select Simple Authorization Internet from the Samples dropdown and click Send. Now let's switch back to the Business Center. Select Transaction Management from the main menu, click on Transactions, and see the test transaction you just sent. So we have demonstrated the features of the API reference and shown how to plug in your own Sandbox account. At this point, you are probably ready to try a transaction from your own development environment. Every API call documented in the API reference has sample code available in each of our six programming languages. In the Process of Payment example, you can click on your language for example, node.js, and see a code sample which makes the same API request as our live console. One important thing to note here is that this is not just a code sample pasted onto a website 
that may or may not work. This is actual working code that is part of a complete code sample repository hosted on GitHub with working node.js code for all our API request samples. Just click on View Sample Code on GitHub to go straight to the source code. You can download this repository, follow the simple instructions, and have code samples running on your machine in a matter of minutes. Thank you for watching this video on our REST APIs and API reference.